Ron Musgraves here, Pressure Washing Window Cleaning Institute. Um, I want to talk to you guys today a little bit about um, faxing because this has come up. Um, a couple of the uh, members of the Pressure Washing Institute, Window Cleaning Institute, um, are asking about it. Um, first thing I wanted to tell you guys is that um, there are some things that if you do that are highly illegal. If you random dial, if you dial outside um, of the uh, time perimeters, um, that's also violation of FCC regulations. And if you don't have the facts addressed to someone, um, that is also uh, a violation. Um, all the other things, you know, you're going to have to check with your state laws. Um, sometimes there are different things in different areas. Uh, but on the federal standard, as far as um, to doing it properly, if you keep those three things in mind, you're going to be okay. Um, I'm not telling you that uh, you're not going to get somebody that is going to complain and opt and file a complaint and you may have to answer it. That's, you know, that's going to happen in any, in any situation that you do. Um, I primarily use the facts. Uh, I used to use it, um, uh, what you want to call blasting. Um, I, I, did, I did a lot of that when, uh, 15 years ago. <clears throat> Some will say fax machines are dead. <laughs> um, ask David uh, Carroll from Lion's Share Maintenance if faxes are dead. Uh, he's, he's used them uh, with success. Um, there's a couple of guys here that have used them with success. Uh, you, um, the, the, big, the biggest thing that I use them for is if I break into a certain customer, um, and let's just say it's a McDonald's, Wendy's, whoever it is. Um, <clears throat> the great thing about it is, is that the fax can give you a reach out um, with a physical piece of paper in their hand. Uh, normally a physical piece of paper. Lots of people are using e-fax now and things like that. So it's still going to their email. Um, but when they had the old style facsimile machine, which most places still do have, or even if they have a computer, it automatically prints uh, on fax mode. So they still get it printed. It's still in the printer. Somebody actually touches it, puts their hands on it. What the great thing about that is, is that um, they really can't opt out of it from that standpoint. And a lot of times they won't as long as you're not spamming them. If you start bombarding uh, the same series of fax numbers over and over again. And what I mean by bombardment, more than 90 days. And I want to tell you guys one thing right now. Never use this on property managers, not in this context. Um, you want to know how to use the, the fax on property managers? I'll be more than happy to, to explain that to you and show you what you need to do with them. But it's a completely different thing. Um, you do not send them rhetoric uh, it's it's just not going to be well received. So I want to make sure that I'm perfectly clear on that. But let's say you get a couple of McDonald's, <clears throat> a couple of Wendy's, whatever it is, and then you knew that you know that they're having corporate inspections. It's a great time at the corporate inspection level or time to say to send a little blast out to that venue, um, and it might only be 25, 30 locations, but I can guarantee you that you will easily pick up more locations on maintenance or you will get heavy hitting number uh, cleanups you know, in the thousands of dollars. You'll be able to charge them whatever you need to charge them uh, because they're basically under the gun and uh, you'll, you'll get whatever you ask for. Nine times out of 10, <clears throat> I like to put them on maintenance, but if I can't get a guy to go on maintenance, then I'm gonna charge them a lot. Uh, I don't I don't like doing one timers. I don't want to do one timers. Uh, so you know I'll get them on maintenance. Uh, there it it becomes just a simple you know financial thing for them to say okay pay me a lot of money or I can do it a bunch of times and do it on maintenance. Well they they pick maintenance every time. Um, you guys that's pretty much uh, as simple as it is. I'll post up some of the faxes. Keep faxing very simple. Sometimes in the faxing thing, advertisement is no good. Um, you really want to address sometimes letters, 
uh, stationary, um, things like that. Don't always think that you got to send a flyer and do not run rhetoric on the thing to where you don't get the message. One of my best, <laughs> one of my best uh, marketing pieces is a postcard and a fax that says sidewalk cleaning. Um, and I tell you what, I get more calls off that than I do anything else. And that's all it says. Um, doesn't tell them about me, my company, or any of that stuff. You know, most of the time people, they just really don't care about that until you get out there, perform, um, and show them what you can do or not do. Uh, I, I tell you right now that that's not a, it's not a huge thing in the commercial world. Now in the residential, I can see it being, uh, you know, customers, you're going to be at their home. I see they want to know a little bit more about you, but in the commercial, in the commercial end of things, you know what, those GMs, they're so busy. They got so many things going on. This is a very low, uh, priority thing for them. They're not going to do a, go out there and do a ton of research on you to find out anything. Uh, they're going to have you come out. They're going to give you a test. If they like you, they're going to use you on more locations. It's that simple. Hey, Ron Musgraves, Pressure Washing Window Cleaning Institute, out.